Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. We're continuing through the book of Proverbs, and today we're looking at Proverbs chapter 14, verses 21 and 31. They have very similar themes, and, and here's the, the overarching picture I want you to think about. Notice the needy. We all encounter people around us who are very needy in different ways. Notice them, and when God calls you to, do what you can to help them in their time of need. Listen to these words from Proverbs 14, verse 21. It is a sin to despise one's neighbor, but blessed is the one who is kind to the needy. Blessed is the one who is actually kind to those in need. And then verse 31. Whoever oppresses the poor shows contempt for their maker. Interesting. Oppression of the poor isn't just oppression of the poor. It shows contempt for the one who made those people because God cares about them. But whoever is kind to the needy honors God. Kindness to those in need actually is a way of honoring God. This is very, very similar to when Jesus said, when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. When I was naked, you clothed me. You know, when I was in prison, you visited me. And, and the people, people, this is at the end of time, they say, well, we don't remember seeing you in those conditions and doing anything. And Jesus said, what you did for the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you did it, Jesus said, for me. And so a couple of thoughts. Don't oppress the poor. The poor are often vulnerable. And if they're vulnerable, they should be cared for more than criticized or treated badly. Now, do we call people to work and pull, pull their weight and do their part? Absolutely. This is not, the Bible's not saying people that are lazy and do nothing just keep throwing money at them. The point is if somebody is trying but they're struggling, we should have compassion. The passage also said that God's, God cares about them. He really does. God's heart is for the outcast, the broken, the wandering, the lost sheep. And we should have the heart of Jesus. If you're a follower of Jesus, his heart should be growing in you. And, and then uh, in our own church here at Shoreline, it's interesting. We are in an area that has very, very wealthy people. Clint Eastwood's neighborhood is right by us. And there's people who live right. I mean, I'm looking out on the street on Garden Road in front of our church. There's trailers that park there and sometimes cars that people are living in, sometimes for days or weeks, sometimes for months. And I've watched some of those people come to Shoreline Church in the midst of their struggle and their pain. I've watched some of those people come to faith in Jesus. And I've watched some of those people begin to care for other people who are more needy than they are. They're still on the ragged edge, but they seek to be compassionate and caring to people who have even less than they do. In this passage, we're also reminded that we will be blessed when we care for the needy. There's a blessing that comes, uh, not always financial, there's a blessing that can come in God's encouragement and God's, God's um, grace towards you and opportunities, but God will bless you as you bless those who are in a time of need. And so my challenge is to keep your eyes open. Notice the needy and say, God, let my heart feel for them. Let my prayers be for them and let my actions when I can, let me do what I can to help them. Let's pray and ask God to work that kind of a, a powerful movement in our hearts and our souls. Let's pray together. God, we were needy, we were lost and broken, and you reached out to us in our needs spiritually and met those needs. There are people around us who are relationally needy and spiritually needy and physically needy. I pray, oh God, that each one of us would today, this day, would notice the needy and do what we can, led by your Spirit, knowing that we can't do everything for everyone, Lord, but we can do what you prompt us to do. Grow in our hearts love and care and compassion for those in need and move our actions to serve in the name of Jesus. We pray in His glorious, powerful name. Amen. God bless you. I hope if you're part of a local church, you engage in your local church. If you're part of Shoreline. We will see you online or on campus Sunday mornings, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Have a great day.